Well, it was news that shocked pretty much quite mm. a few people. Kylian Mbappe to Real Madrid is not going to happen. Mm. He has committed his future right here to his club at PSG, which maybe makes us wonder how much are Real Madrid missing out on. We know it's huge because we know his quality. So can they even find someone to replace, I suppose, the dream that they had of having a player like that? If I was Ancelotti and mm. Real Madrid, the sort of player you've got to bring in is a player that can play in a wide area when Benzema's fit because you don't want to mess up the Benzema Vinicius Junior partnership which has been key to the way they play you don't want to leave Benzema out the side so they've got to have a player that when Benzema is playing and playing well he can play on the right hand side for front three when he's not playing or he's injured because well, they have to buy somebody just in case he gets injured after two or three games yeah. of the season you've got a player that can also play at centre forward and I've looked around all the players there isn't that sort of player at the moment Mbappe would probably be the closest to it because although he plays on the left-hand side for, for PSG more often than not and for France, he has played on the right-hand side and he could play as a centre-forward. So looking at all the other players, there aren't too many that can do that job. As Stuart said and pretty much confirmed, it is going to be hard to try and find someone that can compete with the lucrative mm. signing of a Kylian Mbappe. But we do have a list here, Stuart, and I want you to rate them for me and see that if Real Madrid were to go in these directions, how could it work? First one being at the top of the list, Harry Kane, for obvious reasons. Um, it doesn't seem like he's going to be going to Manchester City, no. given the fact that they have signed Holland. Um, people would probably question why he would want to go to the other side of Manchester at Manchester United, given all the problems there and a new manager that may not want him as part of his mm -hmm. plan so Harry Kane and Real Madrid good fit no not with Benzema because what does Harry Kane do these days he comes off and tries to link up the play and then arrives in the box at the right time he links up very well with a left-sided player uh, in Son well that's what Benzema does mm -hmm. Benzema comes off he's not an out-and-out -out center forward he comes off and goes into wide areas he sets up the play and then makes his runs late into the box he likes linking up with Vinicius Junior down the left-hand side so if Benzema does that where does Harry Kane fit in he's not going to play as the out and out centre forward he's not going to play on the right hand side of a front three so I can't see it fits for Harry Kane next one Robert Lewandowski because mm. for the first time in such a long time it seems like his romance with Bayern Munich could be over he has said that he would like to leave the club probably you know offer some of his services mm. elsewhere we know that he's not exactly a spring chicken he's not mm. the youngest one but there's no doubt that he does mean goals yes Real Madrid good fit for him again with Benzema <laughs> When Benzema didn't play for Real Madrid this season, they weren't the same side. So you've got to keep doing the same things with him week in, week out. Now, I can't see how he links up with Lewandowski because if, if you play Vinicius Jr. on the left-hand side, you play Lewandowski through the middle and you play Benzema up alongside him, you then got to find a right winger, which would probably be Rodrigo at the moment. Mm -hmm. But then it leaves you short in midfield. It means the likes of Tony Kroos and Modric can't play in a two. It'd be Casemiro and another like Valverde or somebody like that. So you've got to compromise your team once again. So I don't think it fits. Lewandowski uh, playing up front alongside Benzema, for me, doesn't look a good match. Well, Mo Salah has been in the headlines as well, based mm -hmm. on some comments that he made towards Real Madrid ahead of this Champions League final in Paris this weekend. But now he, he could possibly be um, a candidate for a replacement for Kylian Mbappe at Real Madrid. Now, if you go to ESPN.com, you'll see leading that he has made some comments on his mm -hmm. future. He does have one more year left on his contract and he has at least guaranteed the press and said for sure guaranteed he will the be press. there at least next season. He will at least see out his contract. But is he a man Real Madrid should go for? He's the right fit, I would say, oh. because he does play on the right-hand side. So when Benzema's playing, that's not going not gonna to compromise what him and Vinicius Jr. do. If Benzema wasn't playing, Salah could play through the middle. He's not quite as good through the middle, but he can play through the middle. And I think he'd be the, the best replacement for Mbappé for, for Real Madrid. I think it works with Benzema in and out the side. So, but we go back to his comments. He's not going to say just the eve of the, of the Champions League final, playing against Real Madrid as well, well, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next season. The supporters would absolutely crucify him, wouldn't they? So he's, he's not going to do that. And if Real Madrid, with all the money they haven't spent on Mbappe, came mm. in with a big offer, with one year left on his contract, do you think Liverpool would turn it down straight away? I'm not so sure. So that could be one of the good moves for Real Madrid. Would you advise uh, Salah then in this point in time to go to Real Madrid as it stands? Well, I'm not his agent, but I would but say... But if you could, if I could, would it be the perfect fit now yes. as opposed to next season? Yes, I think he needs to do it now because I think things will change. Maybe Benzema, another year on, 
might not be quite the same player. At the moment, he's at the peak of his career. He's, yeah. he's, he's in his 30s, but he's playing brilliant football. And I think he would fit perfectly. The one position that Ancelotti couldn't quite find who he wanted out there was it was either uh, Asensio uh, or Rodrigo. That was the player. You, you knew 10 players, and that was the other one. Now, if they got Salah, he'd probably know the 11 players. So that would be a good move, I think. One more person now, uh, going back to the Bundesliga. I know you love yourself some Bundesliga as well. Uh, Christopher Nkunku, what do you think there? He's impressed a lot at mm. RB Leipzig, um, became player of the season. Would he be a good fit for Real Madrid, do you think? Uh, probably not at the moment. I think he's still improving. He's still learning. And they've got Vinicius Junior, Rodrigo, Asensio. I think in time he could be a very good player. But at the moment, I don't think he's the right fit for, for Real Madrid. And it might be that he doesn't get that much game time he doesn't mm. get in the side every week so that's a problem for a young player who's trying to improve all the time so I would say stay where he is at the moment and maybe as he develops in a couple of years time that's the time to have a big move all right well if you're looking for a Stuart Robson stamp of approval as to who will be the perfect player for Real Madrid to go to right now it's none other than Mo Salah how juicy would that be Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.